two, three, four, question number five. Okay, so for question number five, it says that there is a vessel that is in, that is in the form of an inverted cone. So. <clears throat> vessel is in the form of inverted cone so let's say this is the inverted cone with circular top and okay so it's circular top and its height is eight centimeters so height of let's say this is the radius and this is the height of the cone and uh, height is eight centimeters so this is eight centimeter it's eight centimeter that is the height of the cone and uh, the radius of its top which is open is five centimeters so it's open it's five centimeter that's the radius of the top and it's filled with water up to the brim so filled with water that is it's up to the brim filled with water and when lead shots there are some lead shots so which is a sphere of radius 0.5 centimeters so this is this and then shot is in the form of a sphere of radius 0.5 centimeter this is dropped into the vessel and one fourth of the water flows out so when these lead shots are dropped into the vessel it removes the volume of water equal to the volume of the their uh, the lead shots and when the volume flows out this volume is actually the one fourth of volume of four so the volume of water that flows out is one fourth of volume of coal and let me just write it once again it's one fourth of volume of cone the water that flows out okay now we have to find the number of lead shots dropped in the vessel vessels so let the number of lead shots draw in the vessel bn okay so <clears throat> now volume of one lead shot that is the volume of one lead shot is the volume of the sphere that is four by three by r q and its radius is four by three by its radius is point five it's 0.5 cube centimeter cube so according to question now volume of n lead shots should be equal to the volume of the water displaced volume of water displaced and volume of n lead shots is n into volume of one lead shot that is 4.3 4, 4 by 3 into pi 0.5 cube and volume of water displaced is one fourth of volume of coal so <clears throat> n into 4 by 3 into pi is 22 by 7 and 0.5 cube can be written as 0 0.5 into 0 0.5 into 0 0.5 and if we remove these points, it can be written as 5 by 10, 5 by 10, and 1 4 of means into volume of cone is 1 by 3. It's 1 by 3 pi r square h, so pi is 22 by 7, and the radius is 5 centimeters, so it's 5 square, and height of the cone is 8. <clears throat> So 22 by 7, 22 by 7 gets cancelled, 3 and 3 gets cancelled, and it's 5 by 1 by 2, 1 by 2. 
So two times are four, two and two gets cancelled. So we are left with just two here. So n is now one by four into five squared is 25 into eight. And if two goes to the other side, it's one by two. So it's four, two are eight, when two gets cancelled, we are left with 25. That's actually not the answer. So <clears throat> let me just check it once again. It's one fourth into volume of cone, one by three into pi into r square into h is 0.5 cubes. So it's 0.5 cubes, one by two, one by two, one by two. So it's five by two, five by two, five by two. To this is 22 by 7, 22 by 7 gets cancelled. Okay, so volume of that shot is 4 by 3. And it's 2 left here. So it's left here, 3 gets cancelled. Okay, we have 4. And 5 squared is 25 into 8, and 2 is actually, it's not. So if we take 2, this 2 to the other side, it should be multiplying this side. So it's 1 by 4 into 25 into, it's 8 into 2. So it's 2, 2 are 4, it's 4 and 25 into 4 is 100 lead shots. So these are 100 lead shots. Okay, so that's all for question number 5. Thank you for watching.